It's not just climate change causing panic and mass evacuations across the islands of Greece. Authorities now say some of the wildfires may have been deliberately started. The Greek Prime Minister says the country's at war and thousands of tourists are retreating. Europe correspondent Lisa Raymer reports. Wild and increasingly worrying fires are spreading across the Greek islands. No longer just one, but three islands are now ablaze, as the usually blue bays of sparkling water are overwhelmed by a red and orange glow. Hell on earth. Um, never thought I'd be caught up in something like that. There's, there's, someone's going to end up dying out there. A holidaymaker's paradise has rapidly descended into a firefighter's nightmare. The water bombing is constant but still failing to meet the need as dangerous winds and more than 40 degree heat see flames ignite in an instant. This fire leapt across the highway within minutes as already under pressure emergency services struggle to gain control. Greece has been burning for a week now and satellite images of the island show the extent of land scorched. The Greek Prime Minister today declaring war on the fire. We have three tough days ahead of us, he warned. The blazes are being battled on roads and now also the second largest Greek island of Evia and Corfu where close to 3,000 were evacuated overnight. The inferno there, visible from neighbouring country Albania, a flicker made more sinister by suspicions of arson on the island. Airlines are now offering repatriation flights for the thousands of caught-out tourists. Flights from Rhodes International Airport were among the most sought after in the world today. And it's no wonder. Absolute nightmare. There were people screaming, crying. People carrying little babies, little children. Arriving home at the end of a holiday has really been such a relief. In London, Lucid Raymond News Hub.